Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economic events, charts and important levels on the forex pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on euro currency. So on Monday, there's no miracle has happened, market was not able to show even minor pullback. So we are not talking even on some reversal patterns that we discussed. It's possible double repo or something of that sort. So nothing we've got and market just collapsed lower. So in general, this is not surprising because we said in our medium term view that euro is tending to the next strong support area next destination point which is actually area around 112 so if you remember and those of you who are reading our vehicle report here is the picture that we discussed so actually this confidence finally has been broken totally and it's not the next support cluster the market is going to and first of all major 618 support 1290 and xop on the daily chart which is 12 12 20 approximately so that will be the next support area also it's accompanying for the daily overbought so on the way down here we do not expect any significant retracements because the time of the significant retracement already is passed since retracement could happen from the op right here some pullback has happened retracement could happen on a strong confidence support and some some hint on the retracement is done but here market actually stands in a free space it's no support no significant target the one thing that we could get only some minor pullbacks on the intraday charts that's actually what we would like to for making position on the possible downward continuation so um, and today we consider another chance that probably ever has and could show the pullback and in general as the downside pressure currently stands strong across the board so you could take a look at Australian dollar you could take a look at the euro you could take a look at the Bitcoin so yesterday we actually considered uh, Bitcoin and uh, our suggestion that market indeed could show the second leg down is because performance on intraday charts was weak has been confirmed so yesterday you know Bitcoin has dropped significantly so currently we uh, consider and we'll take a look at our next report where potential entry levels might be for a long entry the same on the gold so gold stands tower only around the previous top show no pullback even because it stands on the overbought area so it, it means that oh, in general the uh, pressure on the markets are significant and um, euro is not an exception so here is really big chances that this market has no natural barriers it should proceed action to the downside on the daily chart, uh, from the technical tactical point of view, you can see that market dropped lower, breaking this trend line, which is very significant, and hits daily oversold area. Additionally, it's accompanied with the minor FIB support. So, if we'll take a look at the chart, you could see that this is the, FIB, the one that's, uh, uh, that stands ahead of the next one, major. So, this is last minor FIB support area. So, initially we thought maybe market will show from this reaction point this was also support it agrees with this level previously if you remember it's around 1450 this market collapsed now we're considering the last one 1346 but it's this time it agrees with the um, daily ever bought sorry ever sold and that pr provides at least some chances on the pullback just because this is combination that calls stretch by the Jordan Apple. This is bearish directional pattern and it's a bit stronger than just support area area and could trigger some technical pullback. Again, falling to the minimum harmonic swing that we have here, it shows that it might be somewhere to the 1450. And that's by the way the previous consolidation that has been formed. So we will be watching for just minor pullback here. On the fall diaphragm chart, nothing interesting is going on by far. Here we're considering again the XOP target, that is from the initial ABCD pattern. So if you remember, we also have another one, secondary is ABC top, which stands slightly lower right here. 
currently market hits the 1360 it's still a question whether this reaction stands on the xop or this is reaction on this daily stretch which is more probable but anyway uh, this xop agrees with the daily support area and makes an agreement support as well <clears throat> watching for the levels you can see fib level is 1455 approximately next one is it's a bit wide confidence uh, 1486 1513 it's right here so we will be watching for this one it's nearest one just because of the future and the current nature of the downside action in general um, we do not expect currently significant retracement here so that's actually all that we could say about the euro currency on the bottom we do not have yet any patterns so if you would like to call long you should be extra careful it's just experience of the previous consolidation should tell you that this is really tricky situation on the markets right now because market is not able even to form minor bullish patterns on the daily chart so here's we hope that will be a bit uh, better in this time but still think twice before taking a long position for us since we have the bearish context on the daily chart we're mostly watching for a pullback to sell it not to buy but watching rally to sell so that's what we have currently here in the euro